Welcome to Exchange Server Administration. In this video, we will see how to configure the Exchange Server Hybrid Configuration Wizard. So let's move to the server and get it started. So now we are on our Microsoft 365 Admin Center and I re-ran the Azure AD Connect and I changed these user principal name to this. And if you see the discovery is still left out there. So let me show you how I did that. I just went to this AD Connect once again and before that I went to the Active Directory. This is a sales OU and I have a discovery user here. I went to the property and inside the account it was dot inside earlier and I changed it to the live. If you want to do it for all the user in a OU you can select all the user go to the properties and inside the account select the UPN suffix and change it to desired one. So I did that and I did click on this configure customize synchronization option and click on next I verified the username and password and after that the it is already selected I clicked on next and here I didn't made any changes I only just changed the UPN suffix name for the discovery user and I will click on next and in the next synchronization it will update the things if you see this one here you see the last sync was completed it has updates of 9 if you see this updates it has updated all those user principal name for me let me close this configure once this is completed we will see our discovery user mailbox will also be changed though we have an option to change the SMTP address it is just to show you that if you want to change that you can change it by running the Azure AD again and let's go to the exchange we are on our exchange admin center if we want to configure it as a hybrid you can just click on configure it will ask you to sign in the office 365 i have already signed in the office 365 if you see here it is an enterprise this is a on premises exchange server and if i click on office 365 this is a office 365 account and if i see the recipient there will be only a two recipient which we have created earlier the user which we have synced through the azure ad they will be listed inside the contacts so they don't have a mailbox right now so that's why they are not appearing in the recipient we haven't assigned the mailbox to them and we have to migrate the mailbox for those users to the office 365 in order to migrate our mailboxes to office 365 we have to run the exchange hybrid deployment if i click on configure here it will download the microsoft 365 hybrid configuration wizard so let's install it our configuration has been complete for AD sync. So here if you see this one, the discovery one has a domain dot on Microsoft dot com. Let me try to refresh it and check if it is updated or not. Now you can see it is updated. So our most of the account which we have synced from our on premises are now set to as techiejack dot live. And if you see this mark loster and if you want to change the last domain name that like on Microsoft dot com to techiejack dot live you can change it by using here you can go to the mark loster and you can see the manage email address type and you can add the email address type and here you can add the techiejack.live and mark it as a reply address right now i'm not doing that i'm just showing you that let's go to our exchange once again and here you can see the hybrid configuration wizard is ready to go so let me click on next detected a optimal exchange server automatically that is our exchange server 2019 and here we have to select the worldwide and you can choose it according to your location and i will proceed with next this is a fine like i have a tacky jack and the administrator is selected if you want to change and you want to set any other account you can do that sign in exchange online account let me sign in let me put the password and i have a authenticator app there and i will verify that so my both the on-premises and Office 365 account has been verified. Let me click on next and it's gathering the configuration information. The gathering information has been succeeded. So let's move to the next step. And here it says minimal hybrid or full hybrid. Let's select the full hybrid option and click on next. Here I will choose the classic hybrid topology. We'll click on next. The domain name is selected that is the credential for our on-premises exchange and here you can see the configure my client access and mailbox server for the secure mail transport. I will choose configure my edge server for secure mail transport. 
if you want your mail to be flown through the on premises only after the hybrid environment as well you can select this option you always have an option to change this as well so i am not selecting this right now i will configure my edge transport for the secure mail transport edge transport server to configure a secure bidirectional hybrid mail transport with exchange online so let me select the edge We'll click on next. I will use this certificate techijack.live and the reference server I will use ex02 2019. Though you can use this one as well. I will select this because all the ports have been forwarded to this exchange server. So that's why I'm selecting this certificate. We have a techijack.live as a valid certificate. So let's click on next and our fully qualified domain name is mail.techijack.live. So let me click on next and update the configuration initializing the hybrid environment so let's wait until it get completed now it says congratulations your exchange hybrid configuration has completed but a few item need to be addressed or potentially configured manually it says that you have to configure the mail flow receive connector on the following edge transport server need to be manually configured so it's saying that you have to run this command let so let's close it now we have successfully ran our exchange hybrid migration wizard so in our next video we will try to migrate our user to exchange online so let's meet in a next video